It's ready for the snow. Salt trucks are standing by and roads have already been brined. Alexandria Hoff is live tonight on a frigid Ben Franklin Parkway. Alex. Well, ladies, let me tell you something. If I could be wearing a ski mask right now, I would be, but I'm not quite sure how well that would go over. Now, even given this cold, as you mentioned, road crews have been working since yesterday to prepare the roads for what is expected tomorrow. It's so winter. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> summer is gone and it's over. It doesn't take a sub freezing stretch of cold to know that, but it may be a good idea to let it sink in. I talk about it all the time. Why do I live here? Like, <laughs> what are we doing? On top of freezing temperatures, locals are bracing for some light Saturday snow. I'm excited for every part about, about snow except for shoveling it. Oh, okay. Is that your job? <laughs> yeah. With salt mounds still piled high for the season, PennDOT crews were on the job as well. Whatever falls from the sky, uh, given the cold temperatures, we expect to. Uh, stick to the roadway right away. Um, and for that reason, we have 182 state trucks um, ready to deploy for this event, as well as more than 90 uh, contractor trucks. Anti icing on the roadways has already started, while additional crews are ready to deploy between 4 and 7 a.m. Saturday. I like sitting watching it, but I do not go well on it anymore. <laughs> to put this blustery end to 2017 in perspective, this Philadelphia resident is originally from Wisconsin. They just came back yesterday, and so the, de the degree difference actually wasn't all that much. Still, he says an extreme winter by our standards would be a breeze back home. The school was closed more often for me because it got to negative 40 than it was because of snow on the ground. All right, negative 40. I can't handle that because I can barely handle this. Now, keep in mind these very low temperatures combined with wet and then freezing roadways can provide for very dangerous conditions. So if you do have to be out tomorrow, make sure you take extra precautions. Reporting live in the Parkway, Alexandria Hoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Alex, thank you.